Hello guys, Matthew here and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. The HyperX Cloud series of gaming headsets just got expanded with yet another model and that's the Cloud Revolver which I have here in front of me. As you can see the product box is quite similar to the rest of the lineup, big standard looking box with a picture of the headset on the front, some main features pointed out, together with a notion on the top that this is a multi-platform headset. On the side you can see how HyperX is proudly pointing out their eSports sponsorship support for Team Liquid and SK Gaming, as well as participation in one of the biggest eSport tournament ever, the ESL's Intel Extreme Masters. Going to the back you'll come across onto a bit more detailed overview of the headset's other features and some more pictures. Opening out the box behind this protective foam, you'll find your usual user manuals and warranty guide. Here's the extension cable with inline control, microphone boom, and of course, the headset itself. The build quality of the Cloud Revolver is on par with the rest of the lineup, supporting mostly metal construction for the top portion of the headband, which uses these open style arches as the main carrying frame, while the rest of your head sits on this nice looking thickly padded headband, which is fully suspendable on both of its ends, so the headset can easily and properly adjust according to your head size. The rest of the construction is also well made, particularly the ear cups, which seem to be very durable, although mostly made out of plastic. Beside the construction quality, these closed back style ear cups are really big and they will cover up your whole ear, while thanks to this big leather-like soft padding and very angle adjustable joints, they are making the headset very comfortable to wear, even on the long run, as there is no noticeable lateral pressure on the ears or the head. Although I personally more like the clean looking style of the Cloud Core and Cloud 2 models, I can understand why HyperX went in a bit of a different design direction, with just a tad more aggressive looking style to satisfy other users. The cables are all nicely braided and very thick, while in regards of the connection you are left with two choices. You can either use the 4-pin 3.5mm TTRS connection, which combines audio in and out and which is used by smartphones, tablets, some notebooks and game consoles, or you can use the extension cable with which you'll get the inline control for volume and mute, as well as this clip-on thingy, but most importantly standard separated 3.5mm connection for audio in and out. In terms of the sound quality, the Cloud Revolver delivers well above average listening experience when you put it into context of gaming headset, especially when it comes to music listening. Thanks to the 50mm directional drivers, audio reproduction is very precise and rich, the bass is punchy and overall Revolver can get decently loud. Continuing on with the topic of the audio quality, the detachable rubber boom mic is easily installed into the left ear cup and although it doesn't pivot around its connection point, it's very flexible and adjustable as you can see it here. Last but not the least, here's an audio recording sample of it. This recording was done using the Cloud Revolver microphone, unfiltered, raw as it is. Tell me in the comments down below what you think about it, is it any good? Considering that it doesn't have any extra features like the option to use USB as another type of connection or 7.1 virtual audio channel support, it's hard to justify the $120 price tag of the Revolver when we talk about gaming headsets and especially when compared to the Cloud 2 model. Yes, the Revolver maybe has just a bit better audio reproduction quality, but the Cloud 2 is basically equally good in all other fields, from build quality to comfort, while beside that it supports virtual 7.1 channel audio and before all, you speed connection, making it a better overall value sitting at $80 and very hard to justify that $40 more for the Cloud Revolver model. Feel free to tell me what are your thoughts on that in the comment section below. That's it guys for this time, thank you once again for checking out the unboxing and review of the HyperX Cloud Revolver, Revolver, Revolver gaming headset. Ugh. It's really hard to pronounce that Revolver, Revolver. Revolver, Revolver headset, okay. So feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the model and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tech Tick YouTube channel or you can just check out our other videos from before.